Good morning to you. Shannon Scott with your surf report for Tuesday, June 5th, 2040. Woo! It's 93 degrees, overcast, and the surf is running waist to chest high sets. The acidity is up to 6.2 pH. So grab your hazmat suit and get in that water before the rain comes in, bringing the runoff above 6 billion gallons. Happy surfing! Yeah, do the head down again, like you're kind of looking down. Looking great. Like this? Yep, perfect, awesome, gorgeous. <laughs> to be an artist is very challenging. It feels like the world is against you the whole time until you actually have that final product. I really try and create moments. It's kind of why I love photography is being able to not only capture an image, but also live the experience and the, the things that come along with that. Since I was a little kid, I would go hiking, snowboarding biking with my dad and as a photographer I love capturing nature's beauty and I think that I'll always have a, a, a niche for that. I'm not too much of a churchgoer but being in the outdoors I really had an appreciation for a higher power. I feel a presence to when I'm kind of in an environment that is vast and open and quiet. I got to spend three weeks living on a glacier. So we, we made this fortress out of a tarp so we could withstand the 45 knot winds that are occurring outside as we speak. Experiencing the northern lights in the middle of winter, going into a steam vent in a volcano, traveling to Iceland and Costa Rica and all these amazing magical places that people might not want to go to and I feel fortunate to be given these experiences that are kind of extreme, kind of full on, and then bring them back to share them with my community. A couple years ago, I got the opportunity to go down to Los Angeles and take some engagement photos of my friends. We don't get too many waves here in the Pacific Northwest, but I love kind of just getting out in the ocean and, and surfing when I can. I wake up anxious to get out the door and my friend's dragging his feet and I'm like, what's going on? He's like, well, it, it rained last night. And I was like, great, it rains up in Bellingham too. And he's like, no, that means we can't go in the ocean. Long story short, when it rains in Los Angeles, 3.2 billion gallons of wastewater goes into Santa Monica Bay alone. I was like, well, if we can't go surfing now, imagine 25 years in the future. Like, what's that, what's that gonna look like? Are people gonna go wear hazmat suits and protective gear? That sparked the idea, hazmat surfing right there. The images that I wanted to create were kind of like a Baywatch kind of look, that beach look with the lifeguard towers, and I wanted to shoot in Los Angeles just so people could recognize it more. It took me a while to not only generate you know, enough income to shoot this personal project, but also to do more research on ocean pollution. It definitely attracts a lot of attention when you're on a beach shooting in a hazmat suit. The day went by pretty much flawlessly. I went home and started to develop all these photographs. I had an opportunity to write a press release. That's kind of the time that I learned that when you put something on the internet, you just let it go. You let it be free and it just runs its own course. Oh, wow, it was email overload. Magazines and websites that I wanted to pitch my idea to were actually coming to me and asking for interviews. Everyone was now paying attention. We all have the same problems around the world. 
and art kind of bridges that gap and that's very powerful. The analytics looking at the world map where these people are coming and seeing these images from and they were all on the coastlines of these places around the world and emails from people in Japan and Australia and New Zealand and Germany and Belgium. I thought photos spoke a thousand words maybe in English, but I didn't know that could translate to another language. I felt accomplished, but then I also felt this need to do so much more. I decided to do Hazmat Surfing 2.0 Hawaii style. I got there, smiles on my face. All right, you gotta wear this. Right. It'll keep you safe, bro. Oh, thanks. Yeah, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then I checked the weather. Oh my God, it is dumping so hard. It's the hardest it's ever rained on a photo shoot. And in the back of my head, I hear all these stories about photographers just canceling a shoot because of light drizzle or light rain. By the end of it, I was dripping wet from head to toe. It was one of the most challenging shoots that I've ever had to endure. But I was able to get some of the most interesting and dynamic shots. You can't expect things to happen, but the things that do happen, they usually happen better than you expect. All right, just wrapped up hazmat surfing, Hawaii style. If you have an idea, you have to run with it. That's probably one of the biggest things people struggle with, going through with something that you're passionate about. You just have to know wholeheartedly that these ideas are for the good of the people and that people will respect them. And if a photo that I've taken can make people more aware of their daily impacts that they're putting on the world, I've done my part.